Whitney is on the phone with a question for us about an issue. It's not only embarrassing, but it's worrisome for many women. Whitney, are you there? Yes. So what's your embarrassing question? Okay, my question is, um, for a few years now, I've been experiencing milky discharge from my nipples. Although having a little bit thicker consistency than milk, I was wondering if this is common, normal, and is there anything I can do, or is this, should some, is this something I should worry about? Well, this is not an uncommon question among women. As a gynecologist, I see this all the time. Um, how long have you had this nipple discharge? Uh, for about four years now, I initially noticed my breasts were becoming very sore and tender often, so I will, I will massage to relieve the discomfort, and that's when I noticed it. Was it from both breasts, one breast? Both breasts, but primarily the left. Okay, and it sounds like you squeezed it to, to elicit the milk or the, the discharge coming out. Yes. And it's a whitish discharge? Yes, it's cloudy and a little thick. Okay, well, again, this is very common. Um, you really need to go have a doctor check it out, a gynecologist or your primary care doctor, just to make sure that it's normal. It can be normal. Obviously, in pregnancy, this could be normal. You're not pregnant, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, even before sure. you have a baby, sometimes you can have a little milk letdown. Also, fibrocystic breasts can actually have a milky discharge. Other things like hypothyroidism, some herbs, some medications. Um, and then something that always scares women but is in the realm of possibility, pituitary uh, tumors, because the, the prolactin that's released is what causes the, the discharge to come down or sometimes the milk, milk to come down in pregnancy as well as when you're breastfeeding. So you want to get these things checked out. But really, when to worry, you want to worry if it's blood tinged, OK? If it's clear, if it's from both nipples. So if it's for only from one nipple, then you, want to, then you may have a little bit more concern then. And actually, just squeezing the nipple can elicit the hormone that causes the letdown of the discharge as well. So it's really important, sometimes just taking a break from you know, stimulating your nipples. Make sure your boyfriend or your husband's not doing that a lot for a little while. You may need to take a little vacation on that. And then check with your doctor and <laughs> exactly, and, and see if there's any of those other causes. But usually it's very normal, again, unless it's bloody or associated with these other things. But just go to your doctor and have them check it out. Thanks okay. so much, Whitney. Thank you.